the Country Music Hall of Fame has been the home of America's music for more than 36 years. Over 10 million people have visited this Nashville institution. And to be included in this shrine is the aim of every note that we play in country music. Tonight, we get to add two more names to the Hall of Fame's Gallery of Greats. That's the unique slip note piano style of the one and only Floyd Kramer. This Arkansas native was playing on the Louisiana Hayride by age 19. Floyd had toured with both Hank Williams and Elvis Presley before Chet Atkins urged him to move to Nashville in 1955. As a key member of Nashville's A-Team of studio musicians, Floyd Kramer became one of the most influential piano players in history. His keyboard work is on classic recordings by such Hall of Fame members as Elvis Presley, Brenda Lee, and Eddie Arnold. When you're listening to the opening notes of Patsy Cline's immortal Crazy, you're listening to Floyd Kramer. Crazy. His ear-catching style resulted in a series of big instrumental hits in the 60s, including the future country standard, Last Date. Floyd Kramer released more than 50 albums during his lifetime. He died in 1997 and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame earlier this year. Tonight, he becomes the first instrumental member of Music Row's legendary A-Team to be inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Now here's our star, Columbia recording star, Carl Smith. You are the one, you're the one in my heart, you're my darling, my life's greatest thrill. Of the ten biggest country hit makers in the 1950s, only one of them has not been inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Tonight we're changing that by recognizing the great Carl Smith. Uh, This Tennessee native came to Nashville in 1950 and scored the first of his more than 30 top 10 hits a year later. Carl's classics include Are You Teasing Me, Hey Joe, and Cut Across Short. It's a lovely, lovely world since I met you. His good looks made Carl Smith a natural for the then new medium of television. He became a frequent guest on the Ozark Jubilee, then a co-host of Five Star Jubilee. After placing 93 singles on the country charts, Carl gracefully retired to become a horse breeder in the 70s. But those of us who love traditional country music have never forgotten the magical sound of Carl Smith. This is long overdue. Could you please take a bow? Hall of Fame member, Mr. Carl Smith. Mr. Carl Smith, everybody. Congratulations, buddy.